Step 1. Rename our APR player object to player. Make sure we then create a folder inside of prefabs called resources and create the prefab in there. Step 2. Recreate everything inside of our multiplayer scene that we ended up making in our authenticating photon and playfab video. Step 3. Create a new photon manager script and drag that inside the auth manager game object. Inside of our Photon Manager script, we want to be using Photon.pun and Photon.realtime. We also want to be inheriting from MonoBehavior pun callbacks. On top of that, we want to add in an override for onConnected to master, and within that, we want to join or create a room. Then we want to create an override for onJoined room and instantiate our player prefab there. Open our Playfab Authenticator script. We want to find our method that is named Authenticated with Photon, and on the very last line of this, we want to add the line PhotonNetwork.connect using settings. Next up, join our Discord server and navigate to the Free Assets tab. Within there, there are two scripts that we need to download the APR Sync and the Player Util script. These are both scripts that I've made before making this video. Create a networking folder inside of your scripts folder and add those two scripts that you just downloaded from the Discord server. You will now notice that your project has quite a few errors. Let's fix those now. Navigate to your player inspector and open up the APR controller script. Add the necessary using statements from Photon and make sure we inherit from MonoBehavior pun. Find the area in our code that has all of our targets, our head target, body target, upper right arm target, and so on, and let's make this public. On top of that, we also want to hide it in our inspector. Just above that, we want to change our game object array of APR parts to public. Find the reset player pose method and make it public. All the errors inside of your project should now be gone. Add the APR sync to your player. Add a Photon View component. Add the APR Sync as an observable component. Change the update rate to 8. Add the Player Util component. Set the APR Root. Disable our camera controller on our main camera. Apply all changes. Go back to our APR controller, find fixed update, and we want to say if is not Photon View mine. In awake, we want to do the same thing, however this time we want to say forward is camera direction false. In the update method, we want to say if photon view dot is mine, and we want to wrap that around the use controllers and in air, and in the if use controllers. If anyone's interested, this is what the APR sync script looks like. If everything was done correctly, you should now be able to log in, spawn your player, and have a play around. Hey all, Lawrence from Rexpress Unity. Now there are a few things I'd like to add which I didn't end up adding inside of the video because I just thought it was just a little bit too small to warrant any of this. But uh, if you want to disable your UI when you connect to a room, you'd want to go into the Photon Manager and create a new public game object uh, and then you want to set that object to false when you join the room. This public game object will of course be your canvas. And on top of that, if your mouse is locked, that's due to your camera controller. Just go into that code and then disable any of the cursor lock code that should be inside the start function. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.